What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're gonna to talk about my personal favorite YouTube channels for men. Now, The Modest Man started off as a blog, and I love writing, you know, I love the written word as a medium for communication, I think it's a great way to teach, but I gotta say that video is pretty sweet too, and I've been getting into it, and I just really enjoy it because I think that a lot of the stuff we talk about uh, whether it's style or grooming or fitness, is inherently visual. And so it helps to have that visual aid uh, with the lessons. And it also feels a little more personal. Uh, you know, I get to talk to you face to face versus you just reading what I wrote. So I am loving YouTube, loving video, still relatively new at it. And I draw inspiration from a handful of other channels that I think are just doing a great job. Now, these are channels that I subscribe to that I personally keep up with on a daily or weekly basis and I want to share them with you. So without further ado, here are my top 15 YouTube channels for men. Number one, and this doesn't come as a surprise to anybody, is Alpha M. Uh, Aaron's channel is just the best channel out there for guys who are looking uh, to improve themselves and he covers everything from style to grooming to fitness to dating and confidence. And I think that Aaron has been so successful because He's very honest and he talks about things that are potentially embarrassing and he covers them in a way that's um, just very open and honest and I think people appreciate that. So if you only uh, could subscribe to one channel uh, on YouTube, I think Alpha M would be your best bet. Number two is Real Men, Real Style. Now Antonio's channel is the perfect complement to Aaron's because it delivers timeless classic style advice in a way that's totally straightforward, uh, backed by research, and very in-depth. So he's got you know a lot of photos, a lot of infographics, and a lot of videos, and he covers everything from how to tie a tie to how to wear a navy suit to how chinos should fit. So if you're not already subscribed, which you probably are, definitely check out Real Men Real Style. Number three is Man Sewing. Now you might not have heard of this one. Uh, I heard about it recently, and it's basically a sewing tutorial channel, but for men. And that's cool because there's a lot of sewing tutorials out there and like DIY alteration type stuff, but most of it is created by women and it's geared toward women. Now the thing is, I get almost all of my clothes tailored. As a shorter guy, the only way for me to make sure my clothes fit is to get them tailored. And if you're paying $10, $20 to get a pair of pants hemmed and you're doing that a couple times a month or a few times a year or whatever, you're gonna end up paying a lot of money in alterations throughout the course of a year. So a good way to save money on that is to buy yourself a sewing machine and learn how to do the basic stuff yourself. And the best way to learn is to check out man sewing. Sticking with the DIY theme, number four is DIY Pete. Now, here's the thing. I'm not a handy guy, you know, I'm, I'm not a woodworker, I don't build stuff. You know, I fixed a toilet once and it was like the proudest I've ever been. I work on a computer, you know, almost all day. And I think because of that, I actually really enjoy every now and then doing something with my hands, even if it's not that complicated, because it just feels good, it feels satisfying. Now, DIY Pete has tons of tutorials from really simple stuff like mounting a TV and hiding the wires to really complicated stuff like building your own gas-powered fire pit. So if you're interested at all in anything like that, I think DIY Pete is the best source for that sort of information. So definitely check out DIY Pete today. Number five is teaching men's fashion. And these guys have blown up recently, so you've probably heard of them. But it's kind of like real men, real style for millennials. So they cover timeless, you know, classic menswear, but from a younger uh, perspective. And so, you know, they might do things like how to get a complete outfit from a certain store for less than $100. So it's just really high quality content. They also have a, a really cool vlog series where they show you the behind the scenes of their business. Uh, so definitely check out Teaching Men's Fashion. Number six is Masculine Style, uh, although I think the name recently changed to Tanner Guzzi, which is the guy who is behind the channel. Now, Tanner is one of the best dressed men I know. Uh, he works in custom menswear. He really knows his stuff. But what I like about his channel is he doesn't just focus on the what, and you know that's what to wear and what not to wear. He focuses on the why, and that's, you know, why do you even care about dressing well? Why do you wanna, um, you know, control your appearance? And for example, he's got this quiz where you figure out which style archetype you are. And once you figure out which one you are, 
it makes decisions like what to buy or what to wear every day much easier. So if you're interested in that side of style, definitely check out Tanner's channel. Number seven is Mike Boyd. Let me ask you, have you ever heard of that rule, uh, the 10,000 hour rule that it takes 10,000 hours to become good at anything? Well, there may be some truth to that, but it's never too late to learn something new. And no matter how old you are, you can always pick up a new hobby or a new skill. Mike Boyd uh, proves this by picking random skills like doing a kickflip on a skateboard or learning how to play guitar or ride a unicycle. And he documents the process of learning these skills. And oftentimes he can learn something in you know seven hours. So he just kind of shows you that it doesn't necessarily take a lifetime to master everything and it's never too late to learn something new. Plus, he's got this sweet Irish accent that's really fun to listen to, so check out Mike Boyd. Speaking of sweet accents, number eight is Gentleman's Gazette. Gentleman's Gazette is run by a guy named Raphael who is literally a walking menswear encyclopedia. This guy knows more about menswear than anyone I've ever met, maybe anyone in the world, possibly. But he covers, you know, the finer side of things, from how to buy a luxury uh, watch to how to wear a silk scarf, and also a lot of practical stuff like how to tie a bow tie. So if you're interested in living an elegant life, definitely check out Gentleman's Gazette. Number nine is Order of Man. Now, I met Ryan Nickler, the guy behind Order of Man, at StyleCon 2016. And he gave this presentation that just blew everybody away. And it was emotional, it was powerful, and it was also very practical. You know, Ryan's content for me is kind of like a shot in the arm of motivation. So if I'm feeling uninspired or low on willpower, I'll just watch one of his videos and it gives me the boost that I need. So check out Order of Man today. Number 10 is Gentleman's Cove. And I love the work that Jordan is doing at Gentleman's Cove. He's getting really popular and I'm glad because he deserves every view and every, every subscriber. Um, he does a lot of hairstyle tutorials, which I like, and he also does a lot of lookbook videos. And it's great because he happens to be a man of modest height, so I know that the clothes he's wearing uh, will probably fit well on my build. And he's just really good at editing and production. He always has cool music and cool shots. So if you haven't heard of Gentleman's Cove, Go check it out and uh, subscribe. Number 11 is Fragrance Bros. A lot of us spend so much time talking and thinking about style and how we look, but how we smell, you know, our scent is kind of an afterthought. Now, I met Dave, the guy behind Fragrance Bros at StyleCon, and he gave this talk about scent, and it just blew me away. Like, I, I had no idea that uh, scent is such a powerful um, trigger for emotions and for memories and that you can actually use scent on purpose to build memories in other people. So while most of us just try to smell, as Dave says, not bad, he says we should really focus on smelling good and being intentional about how we smell based on our personality or the season or the occasion. So if you're interested in fragrance and, uh, and smelling better, check out Fragrance Bros. Number 12 is Sparta Strength. Now it's run by Ryan Masters, AKA the Spartan Doctor. Uh, he's a certified strength uh, training coach. That's great because a lot of guys who have fitness channels on YouTube don't have any sort of certification. They're just kind of, you know, using all the bro science that they hear on the forums. Uh, no offense to anybody. Please don't hurt me. Uh, but Ryan's channel is really good for two types of people, I think. First of all, if you're new to strength training uh, or weightlifting and you want to get into it, or maybe you haven't been able to stick with the program, Sparta Strength is good for you. And if you're busy and you don't have a lot of time, it's also a great channel because um, he doesn't spend his whole life in the gym, but he still manages to stay in great shape. And dude is jacked. He's really, really ripped. And, uh, and he kind of teaches you how to achieve that body type without wasting your whole life in the gym. So check out Sparta Strength today. Number 13 is Beard Brands. Now here's the deal. I don't have a beard, all right? I've tried to get a little one going didn't really work out, um, but I know a lot of you do, and I think there's a lot of confusion about how to grow a beard, how to trim a beard, how to care for your beard, and beard oils, and all that stuff. And uh, Eric, uh, the guy behind Beard Brands, has hundreds of tutorials and lessons about beard management, beard growth, and beard care. He's probably the expert uh, on YouTube in terms of facial hair, and the way he delivers all of his content 
is just hilarious. He's got this dry sense of humor that's really funny. So check out Beard Brand today. Number 14 is The Art of Manliness. Now, I've been reading The Art of Manliness blog for several years now, but I just recently got into their YouTube channel. They cover a lot of practical stuff like how to whistle with your fingers or how to tie a certain kind of knot uh, to more serious stuff like um, how to feel like a man if you don't necessarily look like one. So if you haven't yet, you might want to check out The Art of Manliness YouTube channel. And number 15 is Ashley Weston. Now, Ashley is a celebrity menswear stylist and she has made a name for herself and found a lot of success in a highly competitive field because there's a lot of people who want to be celebrity stylists. Um, so you know she knows her stuff. And what I like about her videos is they're extremely practical. So she'll cover things like how a t-shirt should fit, how jeans should fit, and she just delivers this information in a way that is extremely easy to follow, and, uh, and I just appreciate that style. So if you haven't already, check out Ashley Weston. And I got one bonus channel for you, The Modest Man. Here's the deal. I'm relatively new at this. You know, my channel's not that big. I don't have that many videos yet. But the one thing that sets me apart from all these other channels is I will always focus on the shorter man, the man of modest height. And I'm doing that because I think that we have been overlooked and underserved, especially when it comes to clothing and style for a long time, and I'm sick of it. So I understand that my niche focus will alienate some people and it might stop my channel from growing uh, to be as big as uh, some other people's channels, but you know what? I don't care because I value quality over quantity and I personally think that my uh, viewers and subscribers and readers are some of the most loyal out there. So I appreciate you, I appreciate your views and your shares and your likes and your comments. Uh, so thank you, thank you, and until next time, stay stylish.